But everything else secondary. Yep. Now, I've been here since first of the year. I, I want to go home. I'm just dying to go home. But I don't dare go home with this education bill like it is. I want to go this weekend. I just, uh, I'm just i just scared to death that that woman's going to beat me. I didn't dare do it when Appalachia was there. I talked to Bob Jones every day. And uh, 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 I don't dare do it with my gold cover bill. Uh, but they're bogged down. The House had nothing this week. All goddamn week. Now, that's where you and Bill Moyer and Larry O'Brien have got to find something for them. You've got well, to get the Patmans to get some bills out there for them. They had not one thing all week. Right. And the Senate had nothing. So we just wasted three weeks with Lincoln's and Washington's birthday. Then we wasted this week. Now, we're in here in the middle of... We are the first week in March. And we have just got to get these things passed. They're having hearings on immigration, but that's got to be one we get reported pretty quick. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, that's a basic one. But the ones that I'm really interested in, I got my them. flour and coffee and sugar. That's three things you got to have. Yes, sir. One of them's education. One of them's medical care. And one of them's Appalachian. Now, I've got Appalachian. You get education next week. To get it, if you get these Protestant groups where they just hold, they already committed. And I had them down here the other day, and they just uh, cheered and everything else, and I made a little speech to them. But if they hold, and you can get a rule out of Smith, if you can't, you take it up anyway. We pass the House, they'll pass it in the Senate without any trouble. Yes, sir. Then we'll have education. And I think the medical care will go through like a dose of salt through a widow. But uh, the education is going to be the key one, and then we've got to work on individuals. You've got to look each week and say, what is the Senate doing and committee this week, and when will they be through? What is the House doing? And sit down with Larry without a penny. If I call up, Larry calls and wants to know what I said to McCormick. So you've got to uh, just be running into these guys in the halls, going over there and having a drink with them in the evening, making Carl Albert come meet you to drink at a little education office. That's where they pour out the heart. That's where the parliamentarian comes. And... Uh, uh, McCormick will come if he knows you're going to be there at 536, and then it's got to be informal so Larry doesn't get his tail up. And uh, you got to kind of be helping Larry and uh, telling him reports. It's a ticklish thing. Nobody wants to, everybody wants to be the big shot. Now, the big shot's the vice president, and I'll do what you tell me to do. And I'll be the little shot. I'll be second on legislative. I want that program carried, and I'll put every cabinet officer behind you. I'll put every banker behind you. I put every organization we got behind you that I can deliver, including NAM and Chamber of Commerce. I told Chamber of Commerce the other day, I said, you're cutting the guts out of my program. Now, if you're going to do it, I'm going to cut the guts out of you all. And I got a favorable statement out of Kerry then on some stuff. But uh, I put the labor unions behind you. George Meany's labor crowd ought to be there tomorrow morning trying to get people to read and write. I told Martin Luther King, I said, hell, I'm for voting, and we're going to get voting. That's not your problem. You're going to have a vote message, and it's an issue that we can do. Uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the big thing, Dr. King, with you is a billion, two hundred million for Negroes only. Because who the hell do you think makes less than two thousand a year? It's the Negroes. Now, thank God they can't work in a filling station, put water in a radiator unless they can read and write. Because they've got to go and punch the cash register, and they don't know which one to punch. And they got to take a check. They don't know which one to cash. And they got to take a credit card. And they can't pull the numbers. So you got to teach them reading and writing. And that's what you damn fellas better be working on. And if these Republicans want to be for the Negroes, I hope they do. I want a two-party system. I hope some Negroes vote for Republicans. But you make them go vote for education. And uh, I think you ought to find out this group that's meeting with Ms. Green. And as Vice President of the United States, you ought to ask two of them to come to your home on Sunday afternoon. You ought to have two of them at breakfast with you on Monday morning. You ought to have two of them in your office in the afternoon and give them a card to the gallery and give them a picture of you and your wife and give them one of the president and then tell them that this is the greatest thing and their names are going to be uh, built to be written in fire on every schoolhouse in the country that they've made the breakthrough. And the Pope don't get a damn thing out of this but a pencil. And then the school board's got to give it to him. And that you're a Protestant. And that uh, this is the best thing you've ever seen because if you can't do more than old Lady Green, I'm in a hell of a shape. I ought to have had her. Yes, sir, Mr. And if I, she'd been a little younger, I might have picked her. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>